Do you know how much it costs to compete in ballroom dancing? So real quick, think in your head, how much do you believe I spent on this competition for Pro-Am, where it's me, the amateur, with my professional out there, and I'm competing against the other amateurs out there? A couple hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, a thousand? Uh, so I'd like you to comment after this, after I tell you how much it costs, and I'd like you to let me know if, you, if you're right, if you're way off, and, and how much? Did you think it was less? Did you think it was more? Were you surprised? So, let me tell you how this works first. Break down the costs, and then I'll, exp and then I'll reveal how much it costs, okay? So this is the dance pro-am. So, uh, I'm an amateur, I'm with a pro, I'm after competing. Uh, we did about 40 dances, which is typical because you want to have a, a lot, of, get a lot of experience out there, you want to have fun, you don't want to just get out, do 10 dances and you're done. So. Uh, you're, you're paying, your professional has a fee, and every dance I enter has a fee. Of course, there's dances that offer opportunities to win uh, prizes or money, which I have before, so check out the last um, Dance Sport Diary so you can see what I've won in my career here for, uh, for dancing, but that's how pro -Am works. Um, we'll, look at, we'll look at this one here. This is for amateur amateur. It's a little different. My amateur partner and I, we pick our dances or the studio, gives us a breakdown of what we what we should enter. Uh, you know, we agree on it, my partner and I, we split it. It's just two amateurs, there's no professional fee or anything. We're just paying for the entry to the competition and, and the dances that we do, and we split it. So let me get back to this right here. How much do you think that um, it costs to dance pro-am and to dance with enough dances that it's worth your trip and it's fun. And remember, this is for just one style. So if you dance more than one style, multiply this by the different styles that you're entering in. I paid, drum roll please, da 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 da, $2,744. What do you think? Was that, is that crazy? Were you right? Did you think it was more? I'd like to hear in the comments what you think. And smash that like button right now for the, the money we're spending on these hobbies. So um, I'm gonna put these back here. Uh, like I was saying, the amateur amateur one, um, it was about $915 because my partner and I split it. Big difference, huh? Um, let me tell you what we've spent so far. So let's get our, our running totals up here. Uh, while we're at it real quick, I'm going to update all the stuff we've done since the last diary. So we got private lessons there. Um, there's eight. And I have uh, more to come because, of course, we're getting ready for Ohio Star Ball. It's coming along great, actually. So adding eight private lessons. Group classes actually made it to two since the last diary. And social dances, I've been to Whiteman Barn twice. I went to Pittsburgh Masquerade Ball with a mask which people thought was too scary, like last year. So I put on a different mask. I don't know. I mean, I just pick these masks that nobody wants to dance with you. <laughs> and um, been to... What was the other one? Motown Mondays. So that's four social dances. Uh, so we're going to add that there. So eight privates, two group classes, four social dances. Okay, now that the stats are updated, we are now going to keep track of the money I spent on competitions. As you see there, I have a little bit over $500 I've spent so far, and that's just on like shoes, um, outfits for the competition, stuff like that. So, we'll start with that first one. For Cincinnati Ballroom Classic, $2,744. And uh, I also mentioned Michigan Dance. That was an amateur amateur where our total was like $1,830, $1,830. My partner and I split it. It was $915. Pittsburgh, I can't find a receipt. I looked all over. I don't know why, but we're just going to say $900. I actually think it was, it was a, a couple hundred dollars more than that. Their dances to enter are a little bit more pricey, but uh, $900 for that one, MM. And we're going to just throw an Ohio Star Ball because I already have the bill for it. $1,250. That's um, for only like 20 some dances, but Ohio Star Ball is really popular, really competitive. It's hard to get into a bunch of dances. I guess you could, but that's what, that's what we're doing. Um, $1,250 worth of dancing for a grand total of $6,347 that I've spent uh, on bottom dancing here. Um, and we're keeping track of it all on this channel and these running diaries, so um, stay tuned for more. Uh, maybe I should do a comparison in the next diary between dancing and, and the fighting I do. The fighting's really expensive to get started with good gear, but after that, I mean, you're still paying for travel, 
and things like you do with ballroom, but um, it's nearly not as expensive. It costs like $100 to compete in both leagues, a little more if, depending on what you want to do. Um, ballroom, it's like every time it's almost like every two competitions I've bought myself a whole another set of armor. So maybe we'll do a price comparison between the two sports here in the next diary or something. But stay tuned for that. Remember, leave that comment. I want to know what you thought. Um, you have anything else you want to ask me about ballroom dancing? Feel free to. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for next video, everybody. And we'll, we'll catch you later. Be safe out there.